Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today we are going to copy the contents of the internal flash memory in the NVIDIA Jetson TX1 to a SD card. Then we are going to run the Jetson TX1 from the SD card itself. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is put our SD card into the SD reader. I have here a PNY 64 gigabyte. SD card. Brand new. Let's put it into our SD card reader. Okay. We get our satisfying little click. We also have our serial console wired up to the J21 header and then it goes off to the PC. This is so we can examine the boot process if we need to. Let's start up the Jetson and switch over to our screencast. So why might you want to run your Jetson TX1 from external storage? One scenario might be that you have to share your TX1 with others. If you have your own SD card with your own system on it, then you just pop in your SD card and you're good to go. A second scenario might be that you have a demonstration that you want to show people. You can keep it on SD card and you can run your demo off the SD card without having to reflash your internal memory. A third scenario is something that almost everybody runs into. You get the dreaded device full error message. So let's take that scenario. I happen to have such a scenario right here. We look at my computer, look at the properties, and I see that I have 392 megabytes free. That's not going to be enough for the next part of my project. I need more GBs. So here's our SD card that we inserted. Let me close that. We'll open up our disks. This is the internal flash memory. You can see partition one here. It's 15 gigabytes, 1.2 gigabytes free. And then here's the other kind of hidden partitions. And then if we look at our SD card reader, these cards are usually sold for cameras and Windows machines. It is formatted as 64 gigabytes of XStat. We need it to be EXT4. So let's select this partition, go to our little gear here, format the partition, compatible with Linux systems, that's us, ext4, and let's give it a name, we'll call him SD Root, oh let's call him ST Root, Root. Format. Are you sure? Yes, please. Operation complete. Okay, it's not mounted, so let's mount it. We're done with this. There it is, SD root. The next step is to copy over the root directory from the internal flash memory to the SD card. To do that, we have a handy incantation. We say sudo cp minus a x slash. And we're going to copy it over to SD root. So we just grab this, throw it on here. Return. Password. And it starts copying. This will take about 20 minutes or so. First step is that we have to tell the Jetson where to boot from. 
Okay, so we want to switch over to our SD card. So let's switch over there. Okay, so let's switch over to the boot directory. Now over to ext Linux. So let's copy our current configuration. We need sudo here. Copy ext Linux.configuration to ext Linux.configuration.original. Now we're ready to edit. Again, we need sudo gedit xtlinux.configuration. Okay, currently we have it booting to this, which is the internal flash memory. Let's make a copy of this. And we'll paste that in. So we'll call this internal EMMC. Change the menu label. And we'll call this one up here SD card. And we need to also change this to point to the SD card. We happen to know it's MMC BLK. This zero changes to a one. And let's change the menu label. SD card. And we want our default to be this SD card now. So let's save this. So now when we reboot the system, we should be able to run off of the SD card as root. Let's reboot. Let's shut down. And then I'll reboot the machine. So the system comes back up. It looks extremely similar to how we left it, except this is now the 15 gigabyte internal volume. And now when we look at our computer properties, we see that we've acquired 46.2 GBs. So now we're running off the SD card. So a quick check to make sure things work. Everything got copied over, so it should be pretty much what it was on the internal SD card. It's a direct copy of the internal flash. Now, there are a couple of things you have to watch out for. For example, if you have a swap file, go back and make sure that that's set up correctly running off the SD card. But it should be very close to what the internal settings were. Plus, you pick up a whole bunch of GBs. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you.